The photograph shows a tiny part of the lungs, seen through a powerful microscope. You can see the lungs are mostly holes. These holes are called air sacs. Another name for them is alveoli. There are also lots of very tiny blood vessels in the lungs wrapped around the air sacs. These blood vessels are capillaries. This diagram shows one of the air sacs in the lungs. The air sac has a wall made of one layer of cells. These cells are very thin. You can see that there is a blood capillary around the outside of the alveolus. The capillary is pressed tightly against the alveolus. The wall of the capillary is also made of a single layer of very thin cells. Inside the air sacs, oxygen from the air goes into the blood. Carbon dioxide from the blood goes into the air. This is called gas exchange. The blood capillary in the diagram. The blood inside this capillary comes from the heart. Before reaching the heart, it came from the organs in the body. These organs contain cells that respire, using up oxygen and making carbon dioxide. So, the blood in this capillary contains only a small amount of oxygen and a lot of carbon dioxide. Now think about the air inside the air sac. It came from outside the body, where the air contains a lot of oxygen and only a small amount of carbon dioxide. Inside the alveolus, this air is very close to the blood. There are only two very thin cells between the air and the blood. The oxygen particles in the air are a gas, so they are moving freely. They can easily move from the air, through these thin-walled cells, and into the blood. This is called diffusion. The oxygen molecules move from where there are a lot of them in the air to where there are fewer of them in the blood. When the oxygen gets into the blood, it dissolves. It goes into the red blood cells where it combines with hemoglobin. Now think about the carbon dioxide. There is a lot of it in the blood in the capillary and only a small quantity in the air inside the air sac. So the carbon dioxide diffuses into the air in the air sac. What are air sacs also called? Capillaries Alveoli Bronchi Trachea What surrounds the air sacs? Veins Arteries Capillaries Nerves What is the process of oxygen entering the blood called? Diffusion Osmosis Filtration Absorption What is the main function of alveoli? Gas exchange Blood storage Nutrient absorption Waste removal. What gas moves from blood to air in alveoli? Oxygen. Nitrogen. Carbon dioxide. Hydrogen. What is the wall of an alveolus made of? Thick cells, single cell layer, multiple cell layers, muscle tissue. Where does oxygen combine with hemoglobin? In the lungs, in red blood cells, in the alveoli, in the capillaries. What is the movement of oxygen into blood called? Diffusion Osmosis Convection Evaporation What is the role of capillaries in the lungs? Transport oxygen Store air Filter blood Produce mucus
What happens to carbon dioxide in the lungs? It dissolves. It is exhaled. It combines with oxygen. It stays in blood. What is the main component of air sacs? Muscle. Holes. Blood. Nerves. What process moves oxygen from air to blood? Diffusion. Osmosis. Filtration. Absorption. What type of cells make up alveoli walls? Thick cells. Thin cells. Fat cells. Muscle cells. What is the function of hemoglobin? Carry oxygen. Store carbon dioxide. Filter air. Produce mucus. What happens during gas exchange? Oxygen enters blood. Blood thickens. Air is stored. Mucus is produced. What is the role of red blood cells? Carry oxygen. Store nutrients. Filter waste. Produce hormones. What is the main gas in alveoli? Oxygen. Carbon dioxide. Nitrogen. Hydrogen. What is the main function of capillaries? Exchange gases. Store blood. Produce oxygen. Filter air. What happens to oxygen in the blood? It dissolves. It evaporates. It solidifies. It solidifies. It condenses. What is the main process in alveoli? Gas exchange. Blood filtration. Nutrient absorption. Waste removal.